for the completion of the 1040 turn of Austerlitz. Had some strong fights going on down here in the south in Telnitz. The French are firmly in control. Basically, Keenmeyer is just trying to put some uh, pressure on them, keep them from turning north. Most of his cavalry is the biggest disappointment. They largely have uh, fallen out of the fight. They have yet to uh, recover any readiness, so that will be a while before they're useful again. Davu continues to hold without any real uh, threat to him at this point. You see the French still along the gold back. Now they've been pushed back here in the north, north end of Solkonitz. The biggest loss is that company of guns that was uh, overrun by that battalion of musketeers. But their infantry is still firmly in control of all points of uh, interest. Doktorov has thrown himself against the French lines and largely been uh, thrown back. That battalion was repulsed and then routed. A little better luck here in the pheasantry there, starting to get gain ground. But the trick here is there's no point to any of these things unless they can capture the locations in time to claim the victory points. I don't think they can do that. They have basically one more turn. Now the Russians have exposed themselves a little bit, so those dragoons are now in position to probably push back and reclaim some ground. Moving north, we see the smoking ruins of San Hilar's division, routed, disordered, one barely rallied in the uh, trees there, the rest falling back. How do you think Dumas is going to be able to help out here? We see one lone square and a battalion next to him, a surrounded battalion. So Landron has done very good work, as well as the St. Petersburg Dragoons there, they are now tired. They basically completely collapsed. The, le or the right side of the uh, Soul's Fourth Corps, moving a little further north. The third column has not had quite the success, but they've had small successes, more than enough to keep any uh, help from arriving on the flank. So Soul himself is going to, I think he's going to have to make a run for it. They just can't uh, maintain this position any longer. Those dragoons hope to be some help. Maybe they can prevent Puntovitz from being captured. That's their goal right now. And the French guard marches on. The cavalry and infantry are coming forward along with Napoleon and his staff. But they're a long way off, unable to affect anything in the near future. We see the Russians have established themselves along the lower heights of the Protzen Heights. Those batteries actually did very good work. From the first first battalion of the 57th there, inflicting two casualties from long range, and that's that's big. The uh, Austrians similarly are in good position. They have their guns up, except for their big guns, but they're Battalion guns are in place. The infantry is ready. Should anybody threaten them? Moving even a little further here, we see Liechtenstein's cavalry is in really good position on their flank. So the Protzen Heights, the center, appears pretty solid. And we can even look at the guard aligned with the uh, Emperor and the Kaiser. The Tsar and the Kaiser, excuse me, still on their little hill. And the bright spot for the French is the bulk of Bernadotte's men are streaming onto the field. Where they can help, boy, we'll see.
maybe they need to hit right into the Austrians. Protected by the Dragoons here, as well as Kellerman's light cavalry, maybe they can uh, start to affect some change there. See, the Grenadiers have changed position and are moving towards the center of the 3rd Division of the 5th Corps. Juan's Corps is pushing hard on the remnants of Bagration's men, who are basically just hightailing it out of there. They have uh, really failed to hold anywhere. Murat's cavalry has pushed big holes. The only success was that one melee that saw Milhoud himself being captured, along with an entire regiment. Russian cavalry has done some good work today. But there's too much French cavalry that is still fresh, as well as a whole lot of infantry. Pulling back, we see some of the dregs of Bagration's arm running away. You know you're in trouble when both your generals fail to rally the battalions they're with. So that is the state of affairs right now. I think the north is definitely a French victory. They're, they're going to continue to run roughshod over Bagration. The center is where it's at. The battle will be won or lost here. The complete collapse of Soul's Corps is really disturbing. I don't I'm not sure how that can be recovered, but the French are, with Bernadotte are going to give it a try. And the South is now just going to be a boring sideshow. The Russians, or the coalition, can't really take any victory points from here, so they'll just have to cons content themselves with possibly contributing to any morale level points that might come out of the 4th Corps' destruction. So we'll move on to the 11 a.m. turn and see what happens.